Hey everybody, I just wanted to do a quick short video, a follow up on my fabric storage video on how to store your fabric with the U.S. Post Office flat rate shipping boxes. I had a couple of questions on whether or not the boxes are acid free. Probably not. I don't plan on having the fabric for the rest of my life, so I haven't had any problems in the fabric I've had stored on these boards for roughly, it's been about five years, some fabric, and I've never had an issue. Twelve boards from one box, and this is the box. It's just a priority mail, large, flat rate box. And you get one, two, three, four, and then the sides, and then the bottom. And if you watch the other video on my channel, you'll see I just took a blue knife or a box cutter, I guess you would say, and I cut the boards, and they, they're exactly the same. They're 6 by 12, and I can wrap 12 separate pieces of fabric. I usually only get the quilting fabric in 5 yards or less for what I use it for. So some are a little bit more, but this works good for 44 to 45 inch fabric because I fold it in half. No, I'm not going to go to jail. You're not going to go to jail. I just, it blew my mind. <laughs> Back on task. Saran wrap. And if it's safe enough for me to put in my food, like cover my food, I think it's safe enough for me to wrap my fabric in. If you've ever been to any huge fashion warehouse, New York, L.A., they, they, they store them on bolts in big warehouses that are dusty. And they're, they're in barrels, usually. Some stuff's pre-washed, some stuff's not. I normally don't pre-wash my quilting fabric I only pre-wash my fashion fabric and that's the purpose of me pulling this piece down so I can show you what I did here you probably can see already this is fleece and this is some fleece and what I did is this is I think this is a scrap piece so this might be maybe a yard and a half so anything like less than a yard I make in small bundles but the bigger stuff, and I'll show you in a picture right now. That way I can stack it and it won't slide off. Plus, it kind of compresses it and it bounces right back. And it works for me. So this is what I do. This actually is not fleece. This is a nice remnant I just kind of found and this is exactly why I store my fabric in eyesight so I realize and I am grateful to God that I'm so blessed and I have enough the person that dies with the most fabric loses actually they don't win you don't win I don't want to die with all of this stuff for my family to pick through for someone to come across in a yard sale and half the fabric is dry rotted or it's not enjoyed it's just thrown out too many times I go to estate sales and it breaks my heart though I might find something I really like it breaks my heart because I know that the person that was actually bought this stuff really loved to do what they do they hoarded it now it's really not gone and that's a lot of money to waste so this keeps me in check as far as what I have unless I'm working on a particular project. Back on task. And for the sake of this video, I didn't do it super scientific, which I normally would. You know, lay it real neat, real flat. This has been pre-washed. I know this is two and a half yards. Um, and I take it out of the box because it seems to be easier to work with. You can also get packaging. They have the packaging with the handle. I didn't have that much fabric to... See, I like to have this flush. 
but you're going to get the point. It's much easier when you stand up and do it. And by having the rugged edges, it's easier to start a new one and pull it off of here. And this way, and I'll show pictures, this is actually, see how both ends are kind of nice and neat? This way, if I'm stacking it like this, it won't slide forward. It kind of, they stick to each other. So that is another storage tip. I hope that helps. If you have any storage tips, I don't know if they're, if it's acid free, either it works for you or it doesn't. It's just a suggestion. This is what I used. Sharing is caring. So I'll show you what I've got for using this on these small pieces of remnants that are just big enough to keep, but not really give away. It actually works really good on chiffon and organza small boats and I used it on some fox fur. It helps you enjoy the fabric, touch the fabric, look at the fabric just as mm, the fabric. I love fabric. It makes me feel to just want to pet you and hug you and rub you. So enough of that. And until next time, keep your comments coming. Thumbs up, share, and also check me out on Itzy, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram. Love from Detroit. I'm Wendy. See you later.